guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the Sandman Doppler by Palo Alto Innovation. This here is the smart clock that you're looking for, featuring a variety of unique functions such as built-in Amazon Alexa, key functions with a simple click of a button that you can program for just about anything, two high quality sound speakers, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a variety of other functions which we'll be looking at in just a little bit. Now, if you guys want your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this here is our box. Uh, this here's a Sandman Doppler. Now it comes in three different colors. Uh, the one we're looking at today is actually the moon gray version. So it's like a gray version. There's also like a black and a dark blue one as well. Uh, so it's got a dynamic dashboard where you can go ahead and customize the colors of the actual uh, letters and numbers. Uh, and then it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you can technically listen to music and connect to it to your Wi-Fi. Uh, so it looks like kind of have a detailed breakdown of exactly what we have here. Uh, so some of the big things to look out for is one that you can have uh, six different USB ports that you can go ahead and customize based on USB-C if you need that available. Uh, so you have a 1.8 inch digit display. Uh, it's about 11 inches or 12 inches wide and four inches tall and about 4.7 inches in depth. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. <laughs> it says, we hope you enjoy your Sandman Doppler. Step one, take it out. Step two, plug it in. Step three, download the app. And step four, share Sandman hashtag. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go and see what it comes with. So we get our Sandman Doppler right over here. Uh, we also have this box here too. All right, so we have our power cable. So first impressions, um, it's really nice. <laughs> so it's got these two high quality looking speakers on the side. You got this giant screen here on the front. Uh, now this houses a nice LED display. So especially in the dark, you won't see the backlight kind of essentially lighting up your room, which is always nice. Uh, then you have these hard buttons here on the top. Now these here are actually programmable, so you can technically program them for like if you have to know what your traffic is on your way to work. Uh, you have your skip functions, you have your microphone function, uh, you have a mute button, you have a Bluetooth and alarm. Uh, and then on the back, which is kind of nice, so you have uh, your three standard USB uh, cable ports and then your USB-C cable ports based on what you're charging, of course. Uh, you have your power adapter and it looks like a sub uh, woofer uh, housing right over here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and plug in this bad boy next and try it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the app. This is a Sandman Doppler app. Connect to it via Bluetooth. We're gonna go ahead and create a quick account here. All right, we have connected to our Doppler. I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi next. So we're gonna sign into Alexa with Amazon. All right, so this here is our main menu for our Doppler. So once we've connected it, we name it, we connect the Amazon uh, Alexa, all <laughs> it's, it functions right away. What's two plus two? Two plus two is four. All right. <laughs> so from there, we can go ahead and edit the Doppler's name on here. We can go ahead and uh, look at the manual. Um, so you can go ahead and essentially learn how to go ahead and use it, which is really nice. Um, and then in terms of customizing goes, it kind of explains to you how to do it on the bottom. So you can check and choose the colors. Uh, other than that, I mean, you can go ahead and set the time zone and this is more for the Amazon Alexa where you can go ahead and link it up with your app, which is really nice. Um, once you link it up, you can technically program it to do just about anything. So like this, hey Alexa, turn off studio lights. Just like that. <laughs> or you can go ahead and turn it back on. Hey Alexa, turn on studio lights. <laughs> so that is pretty cool. So you can technically program it just like that in a matter of seconds. Now uh, you can go ahead and customize the different modes on the top here and connect uh, to it via Bluetooth and listen to music as well. Uh, so kind of show you how this works out. I'll hit the Bluetooth button here. Um, now connected to Bluetooth. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and try connecting it to via Bluetooth and I can go ahead and play music off my phone. There's Doppler right there. Okay, now that I've connected to it, I can go ahead and pull up my channel here. In which we use our robots and have a robot death battle, which includes two robots fighting to the end, including one victor. Now, we also have a variety of different things, including the hot... Wow, the speakers are really toys, loud. Lego sets, you can control machines, the volume by the top here, surprise packages from just like this. And the buttons are actually almost made of like a sponge material. So it's actually, it feels nice on the, fing the fingertips when you touch it. So even like the Bluetooth button here, if I click it, it'll turn white. So there's LEDs built into that as well. So when I press it, it turns blue again. And then literally just connect it to my phone just like that. 
right, mute, it'll go ahead and mute Amazon Alexa, and you can go ahead and play around with that as well. Now on the bottom here, uh, we can learn more about how to go ahead and set the colors. So, so let's just say if we don't like red, we can change the colors by simply holding the play button here until we get the rainbow. And then even like the, the top buttons here are illuminated as well. So I just hit this button here and I can go ahead and change the colors based on what I like. So you have a wide var a variation of colors to choose from. And you can choose the brightness as well. So if I wanted to do say this, I can hit brighter or dimmer by hitting up or down. So based on what you like. So that's actually pretty cool that you can go ahead and customize the colors. So it's actually pretty interesting how they designed this. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Streamwood, it's 42 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Tonight's forecast has mostly clear skies with a low of 29 degrees. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's actually got a pretty good microphone, meaning even if it's like loud or obnoxiously crazy outside, uh, it has a dual array microphones here that you can technically pick up a good amount of speech. Um, and then of course you have your USB ports on the back so you can charge things and stuff of that nature. And definitely is a great overall piece. And with that being said, I hope it gives you an idea exactly what the Doppler is about. Definitely a great alternative for new people out there that are looking for a unique clock that's both smart, sophisticated, and easy to use. And of course, fully customizable with Alexa. And if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.